In this video, we're going to talk about the role of quarantine in Australia. We're going to talk about why Australia is so special, our national biosecurity, quarantine itself, and internal biosecurity. Okay, so this is a quote from Johnny Depp and Amber Heard, and it touches on some of the reasons why we need uh, quarantine in Australia. And the big point here is that being an island, we are separated and therefore have managed to avoid infection uh, by many different pests and diseases so that you find these in other countries but not in Australia. So we have fairly strict biosecurity laws about what you can and can't bring into Australia. Uh, in Australia, the Department of Agriculture and Water Resources is the one that is responsible for biosecurity. Now, this used to be AQUIS, the Australian Quarantine and Something Service. Uh, that's actually closed down now, so it's the Department of Agriculture and Water Resources that has taken up that role. And they employ biosecurity officers, which work alongside of customs officers at all airports and seaports. And these uh, check and manage the arrivals uh, from into these ports uh, of pretty much everything, including people as well as items and produce. Okay, the dot point here talks about quarantine, uh, but in general it's uh, looking at biosecurity. Uh, so livestock entering the company get put in quarantine, and this is can be for up to a couple of months uh, to make sure that they don't have any infectious disease. So basically what they do is they put them in a feedlot and they have to stay there for a period of time. Uh, and if they develop disease, uh, then they're allowed to move on from there. On top of this, any uh, vehicles, in particular used vehicles, as well as agricultural machinery that may be dirty, uh, needs to be very carefully inspected to make sure that it's not contaminated with any living matter. So talking about plants, uh, plant matter like straw, um, grass seeds, things like that, or soil because uh, microorganisms can be in the soil. Internally, biosecurity is an issue too. So as well as preventing the entry of pests and diseases from outside of Australia into Australia, we actually have quarantine stations set up along the major uh, border crossings, uh, preventing the spread of particular things within Australia. Uh, and this is generally on state lines, and there'll be signs up to say that you're not allowed to take something past this point, uh, whether it be grapevines or fruits, etc. An example of this is fruit fly. Uh, so you can see here in this uh, diagram that the Mediterranean fruit fly, which is found in Western Australia only, and the Queensland fruit fly found in Queensland, Northern Territory and New South Wales are limited to those particular places. So there's actually quarantine uh, lines set up along those borders to stop that Mediterranean and Queensland fruit flies from moving into the other areas that they don't currently infect because this results in a loss of productivity for fruit farms. In this video, we've talked about Australia being a beautiful island with borders that need protecting from pests and diseases. We've talked about national biosecurity uh, coming under the Department of Agriculture and Water and having those uh, biosecurity officers uh, testing at airports and seaports to ensure that no pests or diseases get into Australia. Uh, in addition, we quarantine livestock for a period of time before uh, releasing them into the general population to ensure that they do not have any infectious disease, as well as checking farm equipment for any organic matter. We also have internal biosecurity from state to state, ensuring that particular diseases don't that are only in one part of the country, don't get spread around the whole country. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.